Oh, hi. So I'd like you all to meet this tall drink of water that I met at the Goodwill a few months ago. That's a weird way to talk about a dress. It has a super fun detail on the back. The only problem I have with it, which isn't even a problem of the dress or really even a problem I have with myself, but it kind of clings to my bigger tummy a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. Get a little self-conscious about it, though it's not really anything to be self-conscious about. We're gonna be adding lace to the skirt of this dress. Now you can do this on pretty much any style dress, just as long as it has some kind of elastic waist situation happening. Dress and lace are the only things you need for this, other than, you know, scissors and pins and a sewing machine and matching thread. And I have one yard of this really cool floral gray lace. This is gonna be a fairly quick an easy project so let's get to it shall we since my lace is long enough widthwise to hang down a little bit past the bottom hem of my dress I don't need to do too much cutting that way so my first step is going to be to hem the bottom edge so that there's no fraying. So I'm just gonna fold it over once because I don't wanna lose too much of the width and then hit it with a straight stitch. Oh look at that bottom hem is done yeah nailed it guys so next is going to be a little tricky, but kind of fun. I'm going to attach this by hemming the top while also attaching it to the elastic. But when you're sewing it to the elastic, you need to stretch it as far as you can. So you obviously need a length of lace that's gonna be maybe like twice the size of your elastic band. I would recommend starting at either side seams if your dress has side seams or if you have a back seam to go with the back seam. Whatever's gonna hide it best because you're gonna be overlapping these edges a little bit and then attaching them to each other. Important thing to remember when you're stretching all this stuff out and sewing along is just make sure none of the other layers are uh, folding under what you're working on or you're gonna be so bummed. I'm even gonna pull this part out as if I was doing a sleeve because you're gonna be fitting the whole dress around this little hole. I'm gonna start off by going back and forth a couple times. You feel free to pin all of this stuff ahead of time. I'm just gonna kind of hem it as I'm going. Now fucking go for it. Super important, switch to a zigzag stitch. That'll help give it a little bit more stretch also. Guys, I didn't completely botch it so far. Look at it, cute. So now you probably have a bunch hanging off of the end. So you want to cut it off so there's only like a couple inches left, then fold it over a little bit and then just stitch it down on top of the edge of like where you started the skirt part. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm laying down. Ta-da. One thing I did stupidly is I didn't flare out the bottom, so, you know, it's not as uh, roomy leg-wise. It's not too, too bad, though. Is it raining outside? Because you look like an umbrella. 